Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT John. I'm Ajax Plus One, and uh, we're cracking into another one. Heck yeah, TNT in the morning. I really can't hit that opening That opening note. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize there was such an art form to I didn't, it. I guess I didn't realize either. Yeah, yeah. I sound like a goddamn frog eating a potato. I know. Yesterday's episode, your, your throat was a mess. <laughs> What's your throat's all, excuse today? I don't know. I had another, another rough throat <laughs> night. <I> Jesus, <laughs> man. <laughs> rough throat week. <laughs> <laughs> throat week to throat a thon. We'll, we'll see what tomorrow's. Throat. Oh no, dude! <laughs> What's tomorrow's throat like? Anyways, no so, hose barred throat a thon. <laughs> throat a thon. <laughs> Truck night in throat town. Bring a lozenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring, yeah, bring a lozenge exactly. <laughs> so, so, anyways, so a guy decided. He was going to be an entrepreneur. I don't know where this was. My, I want to say Miami, but I don't think so. But it Florida. was. So that's Florida. So yeah. I feel Sounds like actually right. it was. I don't know. Anyways. So this guy, his name was uh, something Martin. I oh, I cut off his first name, so I can't tell. Ricky Martin. Ricky. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Menudo. No. Yes. Menudo's out here. Got you. He decided... You know, everybody's out here creating marijuana businesses. <laughs> That's the next wave of the future. I, I, I heard about this. So, uh, you, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. I heard exactly. About this. I so, he decided that it would be a great idea yeah, yeah, to yeah, open yeah. up a store that sold coke, crack, heroin, and meth That's and a, ecstasy. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it's a piece of the uh, american dream yeah it's a piece of the, the commerce that has not been touched yet. yeah exactly and a brick like, and mortar and crack brick and mortar crack house <laughs> 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 but he said he everything was pure he wanted to provide a place for you to go and get pure drugs uh, so it doesn't get laced with fentanyl and you get dead uh -huh. because you just wanted to get a nice little high. And next thing you know, you got the ultimate high. You die. And where, where was he running? Did he, like, get an LLC? and he like opened up an actual store. Like, he had a business location to do this in. And then they, they arrested him. He rented a spot. Is well, what yeah, he saying. didn't buy. I mean... I mean, he rented and then they arrested. Yeah, him. like the eye repair phone store didn't buy that spot in the strip <laughs> no, plaza. They rented. Like, yeah, 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 he rented a store to sell crack out of, and then he had. But listen, he didn't let you buy more than two point five grams at a time, though. He wanted to keep it respectable. He wanted to make sure you weren't getting too much and you weren't turning around selling to anybody else. Personal use only. So he had regulations and rules. Oh yeah, and... yeah. So he had, I have a picture of him holding a sign that says. Alt, adults only, 18 plus, ID required, possession limit, 2.5 grams per drug, per purchase, per person, no exceptions. So you could get your 2.5 grams of crack, but then come right back and get 2.5 more grams of crack. But you couldn't walk out with like 25 yeah. grams of crack. You have, you have to like touch your car. That's home base. You touch your car, you can come back in the store. Yeah, and if you were curious... Um, he, yeah. You could buy cocaine for $20 for two points of cocaine. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, crack I don't cocaine, either. Cocaine, twenty dollars for one point five points. Okay. okay. Uh, heroin was twenty five dollars for one point. Yeah. Methamphetamines was ten dollars for one point, and the MDMA was cut off. So I don't know what that means, but your two point two five grams, your max purchase, two fifty, two twenty. So, so wait, this obviously he knows because I mean everybody knows that selling drugs is illegal. Everybody knows that. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. in most of the states in this country, selling weed is still illegal. Yes. Well, here's the caveat. He told Vice News that he his plan was to get arrested eventually. He said he wants to launch a constitutional challenge arguing that prohibition has created a toxic drug supply that's killing Canadians. Oh, so it's in Canada he did this. Oh, well, then who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next yeah. story. No, I'm kidding. No, that's okay. So it was in Canada. It's even more no. Okay, so it's legal there. Marijuana is legal there. Yeah, I'm but just it says say he cannabis. already he already had a, man, a marijuana uh, tr uh, business trafficking conviction. No, oh, yeah. So he got busted for tra trafficking marijuana previously so he's just a junkie that uh is posing as an activist an entrepreneur brother you he don't he wanted to provide a service 
for heroin addicts to make sure they're no, not getting no 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 in their, in their this motherfucker had a smorgasbord an old country buffet of freaking drugs Narcotics. <laughs> i don't know where to get any of those things all right no i don't either i've never even seen those things i live in life. austin so i could probably find you uh, cannabis yeah, sure, if i just sure ask somebody the street and just started asking people like hey yeah. where can i get some crack oh what? wait wait hold the fuck <laughs> What? <laughs> is that how you think you get crack? You just go up to like. Is you, that how you think you get it? You're like, hey, dog, where's, <laughs> where's the rocks? And that's what they get you. What right? do you think? You just go in the gas station, you see another a dad get, <laughs> get, another get dad. the two liter. He's like, hey, home, homely domely, where's the crack? <laughs> you just go up to him, you're just like, hey, do you know where I can get any crack cocaine? <laughs> and he's going to be like, actually, I do. Yeah, my friend Skilo over <laughs> over here in this crack house. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so no, I don't know. He just, but this dude, he just had a backpack full of drugs. Decided to rent a spot. He could have done this on the back of his car. All I'm saying is that if he had access to that many, that array of narcotics, then you are further into that lifestyle than the average person or a person who. who you're, yeah, you're not wrong because if like somebody told me, hey, Jonas. You could do this legally. I still would have a trouble procuring all that, all those drugs to open yeah. up. The, I'd be like, okay, yeah. well, where do I get the crack at? So I don't know. Yeah, right? like, I'd be like, okay, where do I get the, the meth at? Right? To anybody else, it's a scavenger hunt. Yeah, this dude <laughs> just has it. <laughs> it. Yeah, he just has he it. He just had it. He, he knows where to get it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. Actually, probably what happened was his dealer pushed him to do it because he owed him drug debt. Yeah, and he was like, listen, case too. you're going to open up a crack store. Bro for me brother and if you don't insane. i'm gonna take out uh your debt on your mama that's insane I, did he have security i wonder too because you know you need security nah, dude he just uh, oh yeah <laughs> you know what dude i did i did read and i, I didn't take it in the screenshot i'm so glad you asked that because i totally forgot till you said that did he have a gun he, he had a stab proof stab proof vest he, he had a stab proof <laughs> vest <laughs> Yeah, so, so he knew that he was in danger. Like, just like chain mesh Kevlar or something? I don't know what it was, but I want, oh I'm curious what a stab-proof vest... Like, is that a problem in Canada? People stab each other over crack? Well, yeah, because guns aren't legal in Canada, so... Oh, so it's knife violence instead yeah, of gun yeah, violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have on a stab-proof vest and somebody tries to chop you in the stomach with a machete, <laughs> does that does that work? I don't, I don't know. Because that's not stabbing, that's like chopping. I I would think if it can if it can protect against a stab, it can protect against a chop. But you know, blunt force. Okay, listen. You order a knife proof vest. I'll get a machete. Yeah. I'll you stand there like stomach out, and I'll why just you, I'll slam it right in your gut. I, see what happens. Why would I do that? Because we want to be popular YouTubers. I'm not gonna you know, do like that. that girl who shot her boyfriend with a phone book. Oh yeah. Yeah, so like you, if you, you just want to you want off me. No, I want you to prove a point that they work really well. Honestly, Jonas, I would give my life just to see you rot in jail for the rest of your life. <laughs> I'd give my life so you could sit in jail forever. Oh, my wow, God. That sounds like a... The things that would happen to you. I would be popular. <laughs> you know, I'm a positive black role model in these streets out here, Jonas. You know what they would do to you in prison? What would they do to me? You didn't realize I had a set back in the day. Did you? I did. I had a set. It was in CB4, dude. I used to roll with the uh, with the gang members. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I used to. It's like me. You guys know where I score some crack? Where are the gang? I used to roll with gang members. It's so funny when you brought up when you brought up stab proof vest. It automatically made me think of like Canadian John Wick. And it was just like, or like British John Wick, where all you can do is stab. So they just like hold up their lapel jackets and they're blocking the knife shots and they're just trying to stab each other. I mean, that sounds like a fun night. It does sound like actually a pretty good movie. Yeah. I'd watch it. You would watch anything, I guess. I mean, I definitely, you know, I would. Going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. Do it. Date it. It's going to be great. All right. That's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Go to CrazyTown.com. Bye.